Hey everybody, I'm Dave Walsh, chemistry teacher at the high school, and I am going to try to address probably the number one concern that we're hearing from parents, which is how to see uh, students work in Google Classroom. So there's a couple of things that I want to do in this video that are going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, parents? So um, this is a Google Classroom. It's a fake Google Classroom, but um, homepage that you would see for your students. You may have several classes as your students um, may have been enrolled in classes um, last year or may have several classes this year. Um, teachers may um, will have um, created Google Classrooms for anybody who has assignments going on. But then you also may have classes that don't meet or don't exist anymore. So as a parent, I would suggest the first thing that you do, um, if you have access to your child's Google um, Classroom homepage, is to go through and find the classes um, with your child that don't uh, meet this year or aren't part of this distance learning thing. So you can see here I have this class um, that was last year's class. <laughs> and so what I would do is I would go to the little, three little dots in the class and then I would unenroll. Okay, so that's going to take this, take your student out of that class and notice it cleans up the display for you. Let me show you this again. So this is a second class here that I don't need this year. So again, it's the three dots. You're going to click unenroll and then verify. Okay. So now I have the three classes that I'm enrolled in this year. Now you may have several more than three. If you're in the high school or middle school, you may have up to eight classes. Nonetheless, it's important for us to understand what we're seeing when we look here. So there's a couple of features in Google Classroom that I want to point out. Now that you have cleaned up your Google Classroom homepage, there's a couple of features that I want to make sure that I point out to you. Um, first is right here on this homepage. You'll notice an abbreviated listing of all the upcoming assignments that are due in your student's Google Classroom. So that's what this is. Or for astronomy, you can see here. Or integrated science here. Okay, so any assignment that a, a teacher has made due at a specific day will pop up right here and you'll be able to see them. Okay, you can see in astronomy, I have office hours coming up um, both tomorrow and on Friday. For assignments that aren't office hours, if a teacher doesn't put in the a due time, it will pop up as 11.59 p.m., just before midnight on the date that it is due, okay? So within Google Classroom, you can see just a couple of things, okay? As a parent, if you're helping your student along and try to get organized, you can click into the classroom just by clicking on it, and then you can see the home page for the class. This is called the stream. Within the stream are announcements. Any new assignments that are posted get posted in the stream. And the teacher also can post um, post messages for your student for the students to see. That will pop up here. In order to see what assignments are due for a class, you can go to classwork and you can see a list of all the assignments that are due. Here is um, the classwork assignment that is due for um, this class, and then you will see below office hours um, that your student will need to attend. If you want to go to a different class, you can go over here to the three um, to the three lines. Again, let me show you the three lines. Sometimes we call this the hamburger. Kind of looks like a hamburger from the side, or maybe the hot dog. If you're looking at a hot dog. Um, <laughs> up top, um, but you can go to a different class and you can see here, look, here's a whole bunch of things that I've posted um, and some of them are assignments, some of them are just things in the stream. 
And so again, I can go to the classwork tab and you can see here's an assignment that's not in a category. Some teachers are putting certain assignments in categories. And then of course there's office hours. But your students can look and see what's due and you can see here is the, the due date. And if you click on the assignment, you can see any supporting materials that the teacher has given to the student. One other feature that you may want to um, make sure that you uh, know how to get to or you want to help your student get to is your Google Calendar. You can go to Google Calendar and you can see a listing of all the assignments and they're color coded about when each assignment is due and, and what they are. Okay. If you are within a class and you're looking at the classwork, you can also get to the calendar by hitting that Google Calendar tab. The view is going to be a little bit different, but within this view, you will see, again, all the assignments that are due for each of your classes. Okay, one of the one of the hacks that you need to know is that make sure that you're scrolling up and down because there's some things will post early, some things will post late, but make sure that you post that you scroll up and down to know this or to be able to see these things. So you can move forward through the calendar, you can move backwards through the calendar, um, navigate however you want. Um, but those are the main features that you as a parent are going to need uh, in order to help your student navigate distance learning. Uh, I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day, everybody.